Hey, this is Dietrich with Goldhound Prospecting and Exploration. Decided to take a trip out to Fair Play this week. So we are out here on Beaver Creek. I'm gonna grab a pan and classifier. Actually, I'm gonna take that guy with me. Do a little prospecting and a shovel. Need, need, me, need me a shovel. Let's go. Can you record some leaves and flowers? There you go. I'm gonna go find some gold. Got my gold hound with me, Bandit. Bandit, you gonna find some gold? Is that a big gold nugget right there, huh? Is that where the gold is? Is that where the gold is? Let's go. All right. So there's clearly people working this. There's not really any indication of whether they found gold or not. They dug all sorts of little holes all over the place. That is a big one. That makes me think he's finding some gold in there. So I will take a pan of that and let you know what I got. Ooh. You okay? Yeah. Big ass hole here, somebody didn't fill in. This is why you fill your holes. I broke my knee. have to have it to find gold, but it is an indicator sometimes. There is some. Wow, well, that's one worth the energy it took to dig it. One piece. You know what one piece means? Not worth it. Move. I'm gonna try this other hole. Let's go. Oh boy. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Roots and moss catch gold. Clean them out. Two pieces. Two itty bitty babies. One, two. Oh, stuck to me. Okay. Those were not so good. So I'm gonna move further up, find me another spot, and take another pan. See if we can't find something. Pond up here. All right, so I'm giving up on looking around because I want to try these bad boys. If you know what these are, they're called witching sticks, dousing rods, whatever name you have for them. If I go around with the intention of finding gold, supposedly they'll cross and then I'll have an indication that there's gold there. Whether they work or not, I have no idea. Or if they're just hoo-hoo, we're about to find out. I'm going to do some wishing.
Let's cross. I'm gonna dig. Okay, so now that I'm looking at my freshly witched area and I'm thinking about it, it looks to me like it should make sense. Because we've got high water up here and this kind of acts as a natural berm. And then there's a dam up there from the wood that's washed down the creek over time. That dam hasn't always been there. This creek has been here a lot longer. That creek's been running. If that creek's high and that water comes over here and is rushing across, this is the spot that water's gonna slow down. And where water slows down, gold falls out. So, see if those witching rods are any good. My plan is to take a foot out of that hole at a time, pan it down, see if there's any gold worth sluicing in there. All right, so second pan out of there, about two feet deep. We're getting some big, smooth, not necessarily cobbles just yet, but big smooth river rocks. That is a good indicator. My first pan, full of black sand, could be a good indicator, could not be. We were found a piece with very little black sand down here, so I'm not really sure on that, but if there's gonna be gold, it's gonna be where the water's running, and this sucker's seen some water. Let's go. So that hole, yielded absolutely no gold empty so i am going to move across the creek to where this kind of inside of this bend you can see it comes through here and then the creek follows that way so i'm going to dig right up in here hoping that with the water level being higher and this bend being here and when the water's that high coming through here, it's going to stop here and deposit material. So, bust on the witching sticks. And a bust so far on other people's holes. Let's see if I can come up with my own. Alright, so we moved holes. And before we even got the chance to do much prospecting and set up, it started raining. I don't know if you can tell, but all three of us are really wet so we're packing it up heading home for the day it was a good day successful day because we had fun but we're only taking one piece of gold home with us but that's better than none i'll see you back where it's dry all right so we made it back to the truck it's still raining we're a little bit wet but we're drying out thankfully we decided to shut down from the rain but we weren't finding much gold anyways only one piece that i'm taking home with me better than none though we're actually out here on a gold prospectors of colorado claim out near fair play we had one of the admins come and check on us while we were here and i talked his ear off while he was out here because he knows this place better than i do so i had him take me around a little bit show me the claim he told me some of the history there was hydraulicking along this hill you see along to my left side and then there was also some commercial bulldozing and excavating style mining in the 50s and there's a pile of dirt actually a bunch of piles way down there in the creek and there were supposedly <clears throat> gold in them i didn't find any they're supposedly piles of pay but it didn't pay me nothing so with the rain the one piece that we found in the unfamiliar area with very little research on my part being that we just had a time for a day trip so we shot up here i think it's time to call it a day and head back to the house this, this has seen some extensive workings it's obviously seen some deep workings as big as these piles are so don't think it's much of a prospecting spot you can't dig 14 feet deep in a day but it's definitely a mining area there's historical gold and there's geological proof of it. So if you've got a dredge, get to work. Dredge tailings over there. Yeah, like I said, we're in fair play today. So if you know anything about fair play, it is a historically dredged area. So there is piles upon piles and miles upon miles of dredge tailings. And they are stacked, oh, I'd say every bit of 40 feet high, 30 feet high. Those old timers move some dirt, man, let me tell you. 
I want to move some more though. So we made an executive decision that since we didn't find any gold in fair play, we've got another day to kill and we're close to Salida, we're going back. So uh, if you want to see that adventure, watch my next video.